Okay, happy Monday, everybody. We talked about last week focus, and this week we're going to talk about probably the most talked about topic that we have talked about. <laughs> and that's because it is never ending and always evolving, and that is goals. Um, well, first off, hi, Ted Capshaw. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm just so excited to get into it. Um, okay, so I think everybody's heard the adage, um, you know, true growth happens outside of your comfort zone. But how does that play into goal setting, Ted? Yeah, that's an interesting at it right like you know like i hear certain things and i always i think to them and i like i think deeper to them and and here's what i'd say it does have to do with goal setting because there's this idea of stretch goals right stretch mm-hmm. you out of your like in literal terms stretch you out of your comfort zone right and true success comes out of your comfort zone now here's what i want to say i think there's two sides to this yes there are there are times that true success comes out of your comfort zone there are also times that heightened success comes within your comfort zone. So let me let me just okay. play this. Play, well, let's play this out a little bit because we talk a lot about fear and anxiety and and all the rest of that. I talk about a salesperson in sales. One of the things that they say is the best time to make a sale is right after you made one. Mm-hmm. Why is that? They probably like set up for it, right? Yeah, they're yeah. mentally there. They. Yeah. They just made it and they're feeling confident. And so taking the we don't always want to operate from this idea that we're in this stretch goal and out of our comfort zone. Sometimes we need to feel our mojo, like we're absolutely in our comfort zone and mm-hmm. feeling powerful and confident and all this. So let me just say this. I do believe in stretch goals and I believe that there's a time and a place for them. So I, I believe, and again, this is just my opinion. You have to be ac- acutely aware of where you are mentally And also from a business standpoint, in a very practical way, what you need to achieve in your business now, right? And it might absolutely go, you know what? It's time. I have a platform. I can pay my baseline bills. I can do these things. It's time for me to stretch myself, right? So notice what I just said there. I have a foundation in my business. It's time to make a stretch goal because I want to see if I can really maximize my earning potential or grow this thing beyond what I thought last year. I think that's an appropriate time, as an example, to make a stretch goal. What I would be aware of is coming right out of the gate. We talked last week about being focused on one thing. Mm -hmm. What I would be a little bit cognizant of is making a stretch goal right out of the gate. Because that's where Mm -hmm. I think it could play. That's where I think it could it could play against you. Meaning I'm going to go make. True story. We held a live event about 18 months ago in Florida, AWAI member. And during the break, uh, a member came up to me and said, my goal for the year is $100,000. And I asked the person, it was a stretch goal. And I said, well, where did you come up with that number? Is it realistic? We've talked about this marketing. And she said, I don't know. I just sounded good and whatever. I got an email. I wish I had it right in front of me on LinkedIn. I got a message on LinkedIn a couple months ago that she went back and and came up with a more meaningful goal that wasn't a stretch goal. It was very realistic to her and her husband's life right now. And it was like 26,000. And I got the the email from her or the message on LinkedIn from her when she reached that Mm 26,000. And now she was in a mojo, right? So she Mm -hmm. started off with this stretch goal. She slowed down, readjusted it, and then she hit this. So I'm, I'm belaboring the point a little bit. I think there's a time and a place for stretch goals. I don't think somebody should be operating all the time in a stretch goal. I think a stretch goal should be sort of ever present there, but I think you need to balance it out with goals that are going to create wins for you and that are very practical and make sense in your business and your life today versus always being like, I'm, I'm, I'm achieving like, and you got to know yourself because I don't know about you, Jade, but I actually want to win more often than not. And so yeah. if I'm constantly operating with stretch goals, I could probably find myself a little bit deflated and mm-hmm. not operating mm-hmm. at my best. So question for you with like, this is almost like a definition of goal, because when I first thought about this, I thought every goal is in essence a stretch goal, right? Because it's normally something you haven't done 
that you're now trying to do and got to stretch yourself to a certain extent to now achieve, right? So I guess it's just about how far or how much you're exiting your comfort zone. Or do you think that sometimes goals can be or are things that we have achieved that we're trying to achieve again? Well, absolutely. Why wouldn't you repeat? I mean, this is now a big ball of wax. And when we get deeper into these conversations, we all always have to be careful not to be hypocritical. And here's what I mean. We just said last week, hey, hyper focus on one mm-hmm. thing that a, a stretch goal would have been like, I'm going to complete six AWAI courses in six months. Mm-hmm. And now all of a sudden we're saying, right, like what? So, yes, uh, two things. One, a stretch goal doesn't have to be as far as achieving goals again and again. If they are working for you and they're getting you to where you want to go on your overarching business and life goals, amen to that. Yeah. Why wouldn't you keep on repeating this? Or, the, the or same? even something that worked once that you lost that you're now trying to work on again. You know what I mean? That, yeah. Trying to bring yeah. it back into your life because when you when you did that, you saw positive results, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, okay. So again, so, this might be contrary to some of what, and I'm putting that out there. And I'm, yeah. I am trying to poke the bear here and, and promote a little bit deeper thought for people. I want people to be very thoughtful about where they are mentally and in a very practical sense about their business and start making goals that make sense to them today. It doesn't mean that I don't want you thinking future state and all the rest of that. That could be some of those stretch goals. But if you go back to some of the things that we even talked about last year on Monday morning, jumpstart the vision piece. Do the goals that you're making, the stretch goals and everything else line up with the vision. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then the second thing that I really want people to pay attention to, and this is where really like, this is what I, the kind of things I want people to ponder. Do you operate better under stress and out of your comfort zone? Or do you operate better within your comfort zone and feel absolutely powerful? And there's a time and a place probably for both. Both. I, and that's I, what I want people yes. to be thinking about. But I'm not sure everybody's always aware that there's a time and a place for both. So they operate from this one. I'm all constantly stretching myself. And then they get with a guy like me that peels them back and only to realize, man, I'm just operating from a place of weakness because I'm constantly beating myself up. I haven't had a win in six months. And I, I took about with a frame like this that, that I feel like in my life at least, well, first off, I would say if you're a constant goal setter, you're you're ahead of the curve already, right? Which is where we're trying to get people at, to reflect, to think, to set goals. But I find that things usually go like that, that stretch goal where you're going up the hill and then it's like sort of like a plateau where like you're really acclimating to your life now, adapting to that growth that you had, right? And so maybe this is like where the small growths or the small goals are happening. And then you kind of like, okay, I got this. It's now second nature. It now happens very easily without thinking for me. Okay, now we're ready to stretch again. And so it's, it goes like that and with the plateaus and the up. And, and I think once you are in a state of that, that plateau, it just become everything becomes second nature and really easy for you. And that's when you know it's like, okay, it's time for well, growth. It's time to go. We're, we're on the same page now. So you use that example of the person that started off as a 100K go. Yes. And then peeled it back to 26 grand. The goal this year is not going to be 26 grand. Yes. It's going to happen. It's going to be up. Okay. So main takeaway today is that different levels of stretching yourself and you want them to live in both almost or like reflect to be able to create. Yeah, there's a time and a place for both of them in your life. Yeah. Right? Like, and I just want you to be conscious of that and and be very conscious of is it playing for against you or for you right now, These these this idea of stretch goals. Um, you should have them, but they should also be thought thoughtful. Yeah, yeah. And I, my guess, if I had to guess homework for today, and if I have to channel my inner Ted. <laughs> the power of one, we talked about it last week, right? Yeah. Make a stretch goal. Just sit down and go, I'm going to write this stretch goal. Then I want you to sit with it for a day or two, right? Yeah. Does it feel right? Is it serving you? Are you excited? Do you feel that it's achievable? Like all these things, like just sit with it, right? And then go, well, we're going to get into checking in with goals next week. So we'll get more into this, but then go, is that really what I should have on paper right now? 
and just pay attention because I go back to this idea that hundred thousand dollars went all the way down to twenty six thousand, and the email that I got was full of excitement, and it was seventy five k less than what the original goal was. Yes, yes. No, I'm with you on that one. Okay, awesome. Well, we'll we'll continue the goal setting train next week, and we shall see everybody then. Thank you again, Ted. I guess. Oh, 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 oh